Okay, well here we go with the last video in our very first ever stain test video series just for you. With this very first video series that we did for you, we took six different uh, stain protection companies. We did Krypton Home, FiberGuard, uh, Inside Out, Revolution, Ulta, and Scotchgard. We took each of those companies and we gave them their own video showing you, hey, did it work or didn't it work? Check out all the links below somewhere. They're all over the place. Out of those protection companies, four of them produce their own fabrics, their own colors, their own patterns, uh, the, utilizing and, and uh, infusing their technology of performance and protection within those fabrics. Then we have another company that is a treatment that is applied to your own fabric that you would get from a large fabric company. We did that, that was called Alta. We did the previous video, go check that one out. And we got the fabric from a company called Avant Garde. They happen to be uh, one of the carriers of Alta. So we got fabric, any fabric we wanted from Avant Garde and we got it treated with Alta. But then there's one more, the last one that we're doing today and that is Scotchgard. Almost dropped it there, you see that? Scotchgard. Scotchgard has been around for a really long time. Like I remember that from when I was a kid and that was a very long time ago. And I th it's been around so long that it's actually turned into like a verb, I guess if you want to call that. Uh, it's almost the same as people use it the way they talk about Kleenex. Now Kleenex, you know, hey, pass me a Kleenex, but that's the brand name Kleenex. It's actually a tissue that you're asking for. It's the same thing here. Many people when, you know, will ask, hey, can I get my sofa scotch guarded? Or hey, is there scotch guarding on that? What they really mean is, hey, is there protection on that? Because there's a separate brand of its own, scotch guard. Now scotch guard is a DIY version. This is one that you can do yourself at home. We went to Canadian Tire, grabbed a can of this stuff, and we tested it out. So Scotchgard claims that uh, spraying this on here is not going to change the, the look or the feel of your fabric. But I got to say, when we, when we sprayed it on ours, it definitely changed the feel. But to be honest, it actually made it feel nicer. It made it, made it feel more substantial. I actually liked it better once we sprayed it on there, but that's neither here nor there. And what they also claim is that when you spray this on, it creates a repellency against liquids, let's say. So if you spill your red wine on there, Ideally, with this on here, the red wine should just sort of float, bead on top, and you should be able to quickly just blot that up and you, you should be all right. When it comes to actual uh, stain stains and not just liquid, they claim that spraying the Scotch Guard on here makes the stain sort of float on top of the fibers. So it's much easier to clean with just very gentle washing or dry cleaning. And to that, when you're cleaning it, by the way, they also say that you need to reapply it uh, after every cleaning or annually. Okay, so remember that. In the instructions, they just basically tell you that, uh, dude, I can't read that, it's so small, but I remember uh, two light coats are better than one heavy coat. Uh, that, and that's what we did. We did a couple of nice light coats just to make sure it was properly done and wasn't over, it wasn't too much on there. Uh, and then that apparently should last you, or this should cover, the, the amount in, in this one can should cover one average sofa or two lounge chairs or five jackets. So I didn't even, I don't know why I didn't think of that. You could put this on your clothes as well for stain protection and I guess water protection too. If the water, if liquids beat off of that, if you had it sprayed on one of your jackets and you went out in the rain, technically you should be waterproof like a duck. All right, so we followed all those instructions, did what we could, we put it on some fabric. We had our own fabric samples that we got actually from Allendale. You've heard us talk about them in a previous couple other videos. They're an amazing company we use a lot. They've got a great price point. They've got some really, really great fabrics. They just brought out some new books and actually, we may do a couple videos and show you some of the new fabrics that they've come out with here because they've got some great stuff. So we took the Scotch Guard, applied it onto our fabric samples, and then let's talk about the staining. Now, because uh, Scotch Guard is a treatment that you add to your fabric, when we did this test, we wanted to be able to have a proper control. I wanted to see the difference between an untreated piece of fabric and the treated fabric and make sure that it was actually working. And it, you know, the, hopefully, fingers crossed, the untreated fabric wouldn't come clean and the treated fabric would be fine. Hang on, we're gonna show you. 
Just like the previous videos that we did for you, uh, we took the same, exact same ingredients that, for staining. We did uh, red wine, hamburger, uh, chocolate, mustard, makeup, and magic markers. Took all those and applied them quite liberally to all our, our fabric samples. Let them sit for about three or four days and then we cleaned them. All right, so speaking of then we cleaned them, that takes us over to the cleaning. Like I mentioned earlier, uh, Scotchgard says once you apply this that any liquids should bead off or float right on top. And they did. Here we go. Here's our first sample then. So speaking of, this is the red wine and the hamburger. Okay, I'm going to try to, see. this one is the untreated. Here is the treated. Okay, and of course, as usual, I'll put some images on the screen for you so you can have a better look. Not bad. They turned out good. The red wine did float on top, like they, like Scotchgard said, and on the untreated one, it soaked right in. But in all honesty, let me see. No, nope. the untreated did. There's a little bit of a red wine stain there, a little bit of a dark, sort of dark purple. It's, it's subtle, but it's there. But obviously, because the red wine beaded right on top of the uh, Scotchgarded piece of fabric, it's totally fine. Hamburger grease, though. Let's see which one. Untreated over here. Both of them still have the hamburger grease stain on there, but for sure it's much better on the uh, Scotch Garden. I honestly, I think grease grease is like a really, really hard one to to deal with. That's, that's that may have been a little unfair on our side, but hey, dude, that's reality. People get hamburger grease on their sofa. Up next, uh, chocolate and mustard. Okay, probably do it in the same hands. Uh, let's see, put that up top. Untreated and treated. Okay. So the untreated, okay, both of them, the mustard didn't come out. But I can tell you, and I can see it, especially with the light shining through here, the mustard is really bad on the untreated piece, but it also even has a really weird watermark liquid mark staining around the mustard stain that's actually really bad. So it really absorbed in, it didn't float on top, it wasn't pulled away from the fibers like Scotchgard said it does. It didn't fully come out of this one, but it's, it's, there's a huge difference. It worked really well. It wasn't that hard to get it out either, I gotta say. Uh, the chocolate, same sort of thing. There is still a little bit of a stain from the chocolate on here, on the untreated. It, it came out quite well, actually. I'm kind of surprised, but it seems to have totally come out from the treated version. It was great. It, it felt like it was actually floating on top of the fibers and it was quite easy to remove. Huh, go figure. And last up, we got makeup and magic markers. This one's pretty easy to tell the difference. Untreated, treated. Uh, the magic markers, we'll start there. The magic markers was a very little bit left here on the untreated. It still did, they did, it worked quite well. It still came out of that fabric, but for sure, they're completely gone from the scotch guarded treated uh, piece of fabric. The mascara, weirdly enough, it really was like scotch guard claims. It was like the stain was just floating right on top. It wasn't even touching the fibers of the fabric and the mascara came out really easily. It was great because you can see it did not come out of the, uh, the untreated piece. Uh, the foundation and the lipstick, uh, it's still there on the treated scotch guard, but it's way, way better than the untreated and the lipstick. I mean, dude, I got to tell you, uh, again, I think we might have been, we may have been a little unfair with the lipstick. That definitely is not a run-of-the-mill run of lipstick. It's some sort of weird, it's called melted latex or something. So I think we may have uh, overdid it there. We probably should have even, not even be including that in this because I don't think anybody would ever be able to get that f***ing lipstick out because that, dude, that was insane. All right, that was the, uh, the last company that we were dealing with. So. One more video will come after this. We're gonna round all those guys up, all those companies, uh, Krypton Home, FiberGuard, Inside Out, Revolution, Ulta, and Scotchgard, and we're gonna break it down, and we're gonna show you which one did the best in each category, and then we'll have a winner and a loser, unfortunately, but hey, that's the way it goes, man. So, subscribe to our channel, click that bell, get notified when the new videos come up, follow us on Instagram, follow, friend us on Facebook, all that kind of crap, whatever the hell all that social media stuff is. Do it, please, I'm begging you. Hey, why is it so hard?